Ukrainian military expert Seriyaz Guritz says Ukraine's allies could have provided hundreds of long-range missiles, including American Atakms missiles, according to Espresso. Despite Ukraine's months-long appeals amid Russian air attacks and offensives in Donetsk and Kharkiv oblasts, Western nations continued to restrict the use of their long-range weapons like Atakms. The analyst noted that, according to the Institute for the Study of War, Ukraine could hit 250 different key military targets within 300 kilometers of Russian territory with long-range weapons. The use of such missiles should not become a broad-front operation but involve clearly planned strikes aimed at gaining advantages in specific areas of the front, he said. In October 2023, Western media reported that the U.S. had secretly delivered Atakms missiles to Ukraine. Later, the information was confirmed that Ukraine had indeed received the missiles but was not allowed to strike deep within Russian territory. Ukraine is still getting attacked by hundreds of cruise missiles fired from Russian strategic bombers. Dan Rice, president of American University says that U.S. should immediately provide Ukraine with Tomahawk missiles with a range of 1,500 miles. Notify Russia that these Tomahawks are not to be fired into Russia. Unless Russia fires a cruise missile or Shahid from Russia into Ukraine. This is not escalation. Under the laws of land warfare, this is legal and it is considered proportional response, not escalation. Further, Ukraine will only target Russian military targets. Russia intentionally attacks children's hospitals and purely civilian targets. These are war crimes. If we provide tomahawks, they will take out the rest of RHE Black Sea Fleet. Russia will stop launching cruise missiles and Shahids, like they did today. This is the next weapon system needed, he added. Ukrainian fighters continue to destroy Russian troops in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Marines showed new footage of successful hits on enemy targets. Kursk region. Russian generals send their elite soldiers to slaughter. We constantly do our hard work, reads the caption to the published video. The video was released by the 36th separate Marine Brigade named after Rear Admiral Mikhail Bilinsky. The video, in particular, shows the destruction of Russian military equipment and infantry. Recall Russia is also deploying FSB special forces against Ukrainian defense forces in Kursk Oblast. Reports indicate that special units of the FSB are engaged in combat in Kursk Oblast, suffering casualties. The death of any member from these elite units significantly impacts the FSB, which previously faced its largest losses during the Beslan tragedy in 2004 when 10 Special Forces operatives were killed. 
An FSB source noted that the primary mission of these units is to detect and neutralize enemy reconnaissance and sabotage groups. With a state of emergency declared in Oblast, authorities have turned to the special services, indicating a decision by the FSB to deploy elite fighters against perceived Ukrainian saboteurs. However, the source cautioned that in a conventional conflict involving heavy weaponry, these special forces have limited chances against a regular army. Another source close to the FSB stated that the fight against Ukrainian saboteurs does not align with the FSB's Central Security Services operations, suggesting that the current counter-terrorism framework is unsuitable for the situation in Kursk. Recall on August the 6th, Ukrainian forces made a lightning push into the region, seizing villages, taking hundreds of prisoners and forcing the evacuation of tens of thousands of civilians. Russia was caught unprepared by the offensive and reportedly is drafting conscripts to repel some of Ukraine's most battle-hardened units. Russian state media fell into line, showing evacuees queuing for aid or donating blood, as if the events in Kursk were a humanitarian disaster and not the largest attack on Russia since World War II.